Hey guys, how's it going? It's Travis Mortz again with the Forest Hill Film Lab. Uh, today we're basically going to be talking about how to develop your own color print film at home using a rotary uh, Jobo processor. Uh, for you guys out there who aren't using a Jobo processor, this might be a little bit more difficult as far as temperature control goes, but um, if you have a way of figuring out temperature control, then this video is still going to be pretty helpful as far as processing goes. Uh, we're basically going to be mixing chemicals from start to finish. We're going to do the whole entire process. We're going to start with water, mix our chemicals, develop our film, and, and really just do the whole entire thing. So um, I'd like to just show you guys how easy this really is and maybe inspire you guys to do some of it at home yourself. Alright, so what we have here is the Unicolor C41 kit. Um, we got Mark in the background cleaning some stuff up. So say hey Mark. How's it going? That's Mark. Follow him on Instagram, William Mark Summer. Um, anyways, so we got this C41 kit that Mark was so kind to bring me from Freestyle. And we're going to see what's inside. So this is a kit that I typically use because it's uh, they can ship it to me and it's really simple. So we've got a couple bags in here. And I actually had one of these kits for a few months, but I was a little bit intimidated to use it just because I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So uh, I'm going to walk you guys through it so you don't have the same problem. Um, so inside we have powder to mix developer. And then we have two pouches for Blix. There's a part A and a part B. And then lastly, we've got stabilizer. And that's really all there is to it. Um, basically, we have our... I've got two uh, thousand milliliter bottles of water heating up right now. Uh, we're going to mix our powder into the, the already preheated water and we'll be ready to go. So uh, basically we're going we're gonna to mix up some chemicals and start the process. Um, for you guys out there who need any information about rolling your film onto these reels, uh, check out my how to develop black and white video. I cover it in that video. I don't really want to go over it again because it's just time consuming. Um, so. I'm going to roll these up in the tank and we'll get started. Alright, so what we've got here is uh, the Jobo processor. I've had this heating up for a few hours now. It's pretty cold down here. So it's now at 38.8 degrees, um, which is right where I wanted. I want it to be at 39, so that's pretty good. Um, and here I filled up 2,000 milliliter containers of water. So now I have my preheated water to mix our chemicals with. And basically we're just going to dive right into it and mix up these chemicals. So it's pretty simple. Take a thousand milliliters. We're gonna just take our first pouch and pour it in there. That's all there is to it. This stuff smells awesome, so breathe in it as much as you can. <laughs> Make sure it's all good. This dissolves better in warm water, that's why I heated it up first. Uh, Now our developer is mixed. It's that simple. We're going to pour it back into the container and we will mix it up. Alright, so now the second part, which is my favorite part, which is mixing the Blix. Uh, we're going to do the same thing we did before. 1,000 milliliters. Uh, this process is actually a two-part process. We have part A and part B. Part B. So we get 
part A. Pour it in. This is the chemical that has an endothermic reaction. So when you mix part A and part B, it actually heats up even more, which is kind of interesting. So we'll see if we can show you that. Got my stir stick. This is the blanks that we're missing, mixing. It's bleach fixer. Fixer, which is this nice, uh, you know, red wine kind of color. So we're gonna pu put this back in our joba to heat up back to temperature. Uh, like I said. We want our temperature around 38 degrees or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so we'll put it back in then to heat up and we'll mix the stabilizer now. Alright, so the last thing we gotta mix is the stabilizer. This is really pretty simple. We just get a thousand milliliters of water and mix it with this powder. Here we go. Dissolves pretty quickly. And the stabilizer doesn't have to be at any specific temperature either, which is kind of nice about it. Um, it doesn't have to go in the job but to heat up. Mix this up a little bit. All right, now we got that mixed up, uh, we get to start our process of developing, so we'll get into that. All right, so now that this has been heating up for a while, we've got our water containers here, and what we want to start off, off doing is using the warm water to do a five minute bath, which will get the film up to the right temperature. I just need almost 600 milliliters. So I'm going to pour this in here. Set my timer for five minutes. And I've actually got my Jobo set up that it will buzz when this is done. And I'll actually run the Jobo for five minutes and stop it uh, when the time's up. So we're going to let that go for five minutes and we'll come back and do the next step. So this is just about to finish up, so we're going to get our developer ready to go into the tank. So we just dump this like that. And since the developer and the blakes are both recyclable chemicals, it doesn't really make much a difference if you use more or less, so don't be you know, too worried about that. I use 600 milliliters, even though the minimum for my tank is 570. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing just a little bit more. Um, this goes on for 3 minutes and 25 seconds. So I'm going to set my timer now to 3 minutes and 25. And I'll turn it to time, and that'll get it going. 
So once this buzzes, we're going to go straight to Blix. Uh, there's no wash process in between the two chemicals, which is a little bit weird for me and for anyone else out there doing black to white. It's kind of odd, but um, makes it go a little quicker, so I'm not complaining. Uh, we're going to let this go, and then once the time's up on that, we'll, we'll go to the next step. Alright, so now what we do is we just uh, put the put the tube in the bottle and all we have to do is dump our chemicals right back in. This way our hands don't get wet or any chemicals on them and our chemical is right back in there. So there's our developer and you can see it's a little different color than it used to be. We measure out our Blix, it's a little swollen now. And for Blix, you just do it for six minutes. And uh, I guess for you guys doing a hand tank, it's just the same agitation, uh, I believe. I, I've never done it with a hand tank. This is, uh, this is the only way I've ever done color film. So uh, you guys doing it with a hand tank are, are pretty brave. So we go six minutes, and it'll run for six minutes. And once that's done, um, we do two water rinses and stabilizer and we're, we're completed. So we're pretty close to being done already. Alrighty, so we're gonna pour the blicks back into the container to be used again later. And now comes the easy part, which is just a two minute water wash. Um, the water also has to be warm, but it's in here, so that's okay. I usually put a thousand milliliters of water into my Jobo to heat up as well so I have water for these washes. Uh, I suggest you guys do the same. So I'm going to do 600 milliliters. And we do that for two minutes and we got two of these in a row. So here we go. 72. So once that's done, we'll come back and do another one, and then it's on a stabilizer. So we're gonna dump that, and I got another water wash ready to go. Basically, we're just trying to get all that Blix off the film now. Set this for two. Once that's done, we're going to do the stabilizer. Alright, so this is just about to finish up, so we'll do the second, we'll dump this second bath. And now we have to do our stabilizer. Measure our stabilizer just like anything else, 600 milliliters. And this is only for a minute. So we'll let that go for a minute and we'll get all of our clips and stuff ready to take these out of the tank. Alright, so our stabilizer is done. Now we get to see our negatives. We'll see how they turn out. Let's see what we got. Take our reel apart and... What do we have? Nice clean negatives. Beautiful. 
So all this stabilizer on here will harden if you don't squeegee it off. And for my black and white video, I used a squeegee. And I got a lot of criticism for it, which is understandable because I usually don't use a squeegee if I don't have to. But the squeegee I was using was a real piece of garbage. And since then, I got a Patterson squeegee that works wonderfully. So I suggest if you guys are going to be doing this, get a Patterson squeegee. Don't really get anything else because this is definitely the squeegee that won't hurt your film. Um, you know, opposed to the other one I had, which was very cheap, but it was the only thing I could find. So we're going to hang this up in the film dryer, and I'm going to go ahead and pull all these other ones out as well. So here's the real benefit to doing your own processing at home is 120 color film, because a lot of places don't do this locally. So because of that, it's kind of hard to get it done yourself. So here we go. And the Jobo could do two reels at a time, but we're just going to peel one off. See, we get a nice look at these nags. Hasselblad negatives, the nicest. There we go. These are nice and easy to squeegee too, because there's no sprocket holes to interfere. So here we've got our last roll of film, ready to go in the dryer. And we did six this development, which is really nice about the Jobo, is you can do so many in one tank. Close that up. And I got all this weather sealed so there's no dust to get in there. Start it. And then we just hang out, wait for that to dry, and then these are going to be ready to scan with no streaks or anything since we squeegeed off most of the moisture and then the dryer is going to take off the rest. Well guys, I, uh, I hope this video was informative and helped you guys through the process. Uh, I, uh, I, I learned from a YouTube video myself, so hopefully my video will help someone else like me. Um, like I said, this is a much cheaper way to develop your film. This, this kit here was $21.99. Uh, I just did six rolls in one development. So, I mean, do the math. It's obviously exponentially cheaper to develop your own film, and I still probably have about 15 or 20 rolls to go from that batch of chemicals. So... I mean, it's a no-brainer. It costs about a dollar a roll to develop if you do it yourself. So uh, go out there, buy a Jobo, and get your own chemicals because it's really the cheapest way to shoot film. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on shooting.